Four Lies. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Body Bags. I'm Mikey Fish Horror, and I'm your Friday host. Yeah, dude. Today we're gonna be talking about uh, hood horror, also known as urban horror. I actually call it urban horror. A lot of people tend to call it hood horror. I've always known it as urban, but it is what it is. Anyways, urban horror is basically, you know, a genre of horror movie where um, it takes place in inner cities, you know, usually in like the hood or just urban areas in general. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, I, I like movies like this. It's one of my favorite subgenres. There's not enough of them. I feel like, uh, I feel like they should really start doing there's a lot of like really low budget ones but you know i love the i love my uh my cheese so i'm totally cool with that but i feel like not enough people recognize this genre because there's not really any movies that are really stand out other than you know like you got your your really popular ones like bones and candy man and whatnot but you know there needs to be more out there and there's not that many so i felt like you know why not do a theme week for it yeah that's right urban horror it is anyways my movie i picked was the vault yeah on vhs because i don't have a dvd of it can't find it anywhere and uh i don't have a blu-ray of it because uh, i don't fuck with blu-ray and uh wouldn't matter if they had it because i don't get them uh they don't have it anyways but uh anyways yeah uh the vault this movie was made uh it was released by full moon and uh you know i never hear anyone talk about this movie when we're talking about full moon or just in general and like i don't hear anyone talk about the vault and uh I'm not saying it should be, you know, super talked about. It's not like a, you know, a great movie or anything like that. But it would be nice to hear, you know, people's opinions on it other than just saying, oh, it's like cheesy shit. Because it's definitely cheesy, but I hate it when people just say, oh, it's just crap because it has low camera quality, you know, bad acting and whatnot. That doesn't make a movie bad if you ask me. A lot of people disagree. That's why everyone likes their Blu-ray because they get their beautiful picture, you know, whatever. Whatever, man. I don't care. No, I hate on Blu-ray. I'm just messing around. I don't hate Blu-ray. I just don't collect it. Whatever. Fuck Blu-ray. Anyway, so The Vault is about, um, it's about this teacher. He, uh, he recently lost his wife, so I guess he's a widower. I guess that's a thing. Um, yeah, he recently lost his wife, and now he's gonna go back to, uh, he got, uh, a group of his students, I think five of them. Four or five. Four or five, I can't remember. Maybe four. Uh, and they're gonna go to this old school and get a bunch of stuff before they tear this building down just to kind of so it doesn't lose all of its you know life I guess basically they want to get some stuff from there to salvage it and you know all that kind of stuff before they tear it down uh, but while they're there of course some shit happens they accidentally you know disturb these ghosts that are in there and so there you have your little story people getting picked off by one one by one by these ghosts and whatnot and the ghosts are uh these tortured souls uh from like the slave trade and stuff they used to keep them in this place and uh yeah so that's what happened basically anyway so my thoughts on this movie not a horrible you know ghost story not a great ghost story at all but it's a ghost story nonetheless and i'm not a big fan of ghost stories but when they're killing people it's fun and usually ghost stories are a little bit lackluster in the kills this one I mean, it's not a high body count, but they're killing people. Yeah, it's cheesy. It's fucking really cheesy, man. Like, in the the filming is, it's bad. The filming is bad. The acting is really bad. But there's some charm to it. I mean, I might be the only person that says that because I do love my shitty horror movies. But uh, and I know that they're shitty. I understand that. But uh, you just gotta look past some of that stuff, man. Sometimes you just gotta look at like just have fun with a movie. You know what I mean? And uh, this movie, I, I used to have a lot of fun with it when I was a kid. I used to watch it all the time on this exact VHS tape. And, uh, yeah, I, I, watching it again, it's not a bad movie. I mean, it's not great by any means. It's not as good as it was. But there's a death scene in it that's pretty funny. Like, it looks pretty bad, but it is what it is. They did what they could with it, you know. Uh, Character-wise, really cliche characters. You got your nerd, your jock, your thug, and uh, the girl, of course. And, uh, you know, like, the characters are whatever. There's like, there's one guy that I really enjoyed, uh, and the rest of them are just kind of shitty. Uh, the nerd guy, he wants to be badass, and they call him by his real name. I can't remember what it was. But he's like, no, don't call me that. Call me Zipper, man. And they're just kind of laughing at him because he's like, they're like playing with his zipper and shit, calling him Zipper, making fun of him because he thinks that's a badass name, and it's, it's not. 
it's not a cool name at all, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the death scenes are all right. The story is like, it's okay. Uh, all in all, if you've seen your urban horror cheese, you know what you're getting into with this one. It's definitely low budget. Think um, Hood of the Living Dead style, like super low budget. But it's not the worst movie I've ever seen. It's definitely not the best. And it's never going to go on a top 10 of the full moon or in the top 10 of urban horror. It's not going to go in there. But if you're just looking for a cheesy film that takes place in a school with a... I think there was only like two white people in this whole movie. And I think it was a flashback of the slave trade. I think that was it. So if you're looking for, you know, an all-black cast, you got it here. And it's, it's you know, it's weird because you watch movies these days and you're so used to it being, you know, a full white cast, you, you forget that, you know, you've never, you don't normally see an all-black cast. And it's, it's nice to see that, you know, like, it's nice to see, especially back in the day, them doing something like that and making it a full movie for that. You know, it's it, it, it definitely... Uh, it needs to happen more often, and that's why I feel like urban horror should be more pop like popular because it's very prominent in the black community and stuff. And you know, it takes you kind of back to like the the black exploitation. It's kind of like not as good as black exploitation, but it kind of is in that same realm. And uh, I, I I love that kind of stuff, and I feel like they need to they need to do more of that. You know, I feel like it needs to be done. And anyways, yeah, this movie it's not the best time. It's not the worst time. It's definitely. A little below average so you know for me I'm gonna try and be fair with this I use fun factor very high in my ratings uh, but I also have to be realistic with the rating and I'll give this movie probably a 4.5 because it is what it is I like this movie because it has like a nostalgic feeling to me you know and I like my low budget trash so for four out of uh, 4.5 out of 5 or 4.5 out of 10 I feel like is suitable for this uh, I feel like a lot of people would completely disagree with that, but it is what it is. I don't care. This is my rating. The Vault, dude. Check it out. Check out The Vault, man. It's a lot of fun uh, if you like low-budget urban horror films. Definitely a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, yeah. So that's The Vault, and that is me. I am Mikey Fish Horror, and uh, thank you for joining me once again. I'll see you next Friday, guys. Later, dudes.